Hey guys, just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about the Cast King Stealth. I've been using this reel for over a year now. And I've really put food test. Now this one is a brand new one. Uh, my other one's covered in algae. It has a few scrapes on it. But the performance of it, it still holds up just as well as this one. It's an 11 plus 1 bearing reel. It's a 7 to 7 zero gear ratio. Focus. There we go. Uh, super, super light reel. And get my finger out. It really fits in the palm of my hand pretty well. Fifth, or right around 50 bucks. And I would easily play, I would easily pay a hundred bucks for this reel. Super, super comfortable. Nice clean look on it. Carbon fiber handle, carbon body. And really for 50 bucks, you, you can't go wrong for this reel. Uh, other people have dropped it and said, oh, there's scratches on it and it things up. I've dropped this thing, not this one, but my other one plenty of times. Like I said, it still functions just as well. Oh, also, I kayak fish. So I have this on the Cast King telescoping rod. Why I like this rod? It's because I'm kayak fishing. So small, compact size. I mean, whoop. It's tucked in. That's the full size of it. Let's uh, open it up so we can see how long it is all the way. Kind of hard to do with one hand. So when it's out, it comes out to uh, little. It's right at seven feet long. So it's your typical kayak length rod. Nice short butt on it. You see right there, it's right in the middle of my arm. I've been using this rod uh, for about about six months now, and the feel of it, it's super super great. Very sensitive. I can feel it ripping through grass. I can feel the fish pecking at the lures. I love this so much that I actually ordered four more of them. Um, I'm also a kayak guide, and those are going to be my rods that I will be handing out to my clients to fish with. Um, they're going to be spinning rods, though. So spinning rods. Typically for beginners, a little bit easier to handle than bait casters. Now, as far as tuning this reel, it's it's not that hard. Um, usually, what I do is I set the brakes to about eight, and then the tensioner up here, I'll make it loose enough so that the lure has a nice gradual fall, and then as soon as it hits the water, it should stop. Uh, once I have it tuned to like that. Then if I'm switching out through baits that are a little bit heavier, I just really just play with the tensioner knob. Really don't play with the brakes too much. But 50 bucks, this is a great reel. Also, how many other bait, catch, bait casters have a, um, a line catcher right there? So when it's spooled, you won't have the line tangle up like it, it kind of is right now. Uh, I just took this out of the box. I haven't put it on there yet. But once I uh, start fishing with it, the line will just be wrapped around there if there's not a lure already on it. But check them out, guys. Castking.com, Amazon.com. Like I said, 50 bucks. You will not regret buying this reel. I absolutely love this thing. Um, so also, when you're while you're on the website, either Castking.com or Amazon, check out some of their other reels. The Speed Demon, that has quickly turned into one another one of my favorite reels. And today, Cast King just came out with a white Max. It's going to look pretty similar to this.
except it's white with red accents and it's a um a low speed bait caster can't remember um what the specifications are on that reel but check them out they just got released to amazon today so check them out guys anything from casking you're you're getting really quality products at a fraction of the cost of competitors if you're on a budget just a weekend weekend angler you won't be disappointed with this stuff so take it easy guys y'all have a good one